Hello everyone. Today our topic is numerical differentiation using Python SumPy. Differential calculus is a branch of math concerned with the problem finding the rate of change of a function with respect to the variable on which it depends. It involves calculating derivatives and using them to solve problems involving non-constant rates of change. SimPy is a Python library for symbolic mathematics, and it's entirely written in Python. So the first thing that we have to do is to import SimPy. After that, we have to create a symbol, and usually we call it X, and this is done using the function symbol supported in SimPy. Next, we can define our function. Now using SumPy, it's very easy to find the derivative of the function. Here, if a prime equals three multiplied by x cubed plus five x squared plus 10 x to the power two multiplied by three x squared plus 10 x plus 10. So if we run the program, pattern sim by will directly generate a prime. And as you see, we have the same result. And if we have more than one function, if one equals two x squared, if two x cube, if three, three x squared plus sine of x. For the first function, we have four x, for f two, three x squared, and for f three, we have six x plus cosine x. Here we have another function, f two, and we can use the rational method to print the fractions in the form three over four. Here the function f equals three over four x cubed plus x squared tan x. So if the prime equals nine over four x squared plus two x tan x plus x squared, tan square x plus one. In most textbooks, tan of x prime, six square of x, it is the same, tan square x plus one. So from the program, here we have f2, and here f2 prime, really very efficient. In some cases, we want to find if a prime at a certain point. In this program, we have the function f. We find if a prime, and it is printed here. We can use the lambda function f equals lambda phi x f, and if a prime equals lambda phi x f prime. Now we can enter a point and find the values of f and if a prime at this point. So first, if the prime is printed, after that, we can enter a point, for example, two, enter. So the function f at this point is 80, and if the prime at this point, 116. We can use sim by for multiple variables. For example, here the function f equals 3x squared, y squared, minus 2xy. So df dx equals 6xy squared, minus 2y, and df dy equals 6x squared, y, minus 2x. Here is the function f. dx, if differentiate x, and dy if differentiate y. So according to this statement, this function will be printed, and according to this statement, this function will be printed. So if we run the program, here we'll have df dx, and here df dy. And as the last example, we have here a function of three variables, x, y, z. 
and we want to find dx of f, dy of f, and dz of f. So here we use the method def with the variable x, next with the variable y, next with the variable z. And now if we run the program, this is the partial derivative relative to x, here to y, and here to z. As you see, pattern symbi is a very powerful tool in numerical differentiation. For today, that's all. Thank you.